Hey, what's up, guys? It's Prep Anthony. Um, so, first of all, I just want to um, just congratulate Cynthia Bailey for her first eyewear commercial. However, I do not like it at all. Yeah, I'm just getting straight to the point. I don't like it. For um, for one, it's just like the concept of having your glasses come on and off and then like the people just like change and like are in awe of you. Like that's that's not original. That's been done multiple times before. So I'm thinking that because people, you know, that's obvious. People know that that's been done many times before. I thought that they would put a twist on it and make it more modern or something to make it different. They did make it different, but different bad. It just was a very slow, like, monotone. Like, it it was just, like, boring. Like, it wasn't no, like, excitement. It wasn't nothing captivating about it to get your attention to make you want to buy these glasses. Um, for one, like, the people in the commercial, they were, was Greg Leakes, you know, Portia, Phaedra, and these people are celebrities, and these are people that everybody knows that you're associated with. So it's not believable. You should have been around like people that you weren't always attached to. That would have made it a little bit more believable. But then again, it still wouldn't have been believable because, like, whenever she has like the glasses, like, on, everybody's just like. Like, what? That's horrible acting. That's overacting. Like, that's so, like, who sees somebody, like a celebrity, and has their mouth, like, gapped open like that? Like, that's, that's like when they were, like, a few celebrities. Nowadays, everybody's a celebrity. There's so many um, reality stars now, so many more actors, so many more, so many more people. You see, Celebrities all the time, like especially living in Atlanta, and I'm sure in Jamaica there's like some celebrities that go down there too. And well, maybe not in Jamaica, but still, like your mouth is not gonna be just everybody's mouth is not gonna be just gapped completely open. That's I don't like it. I don't like it. And then like there's a voiceover. Now, um, if you watch the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you would have seen that on the uh, most recent episode. Um, that Kim Fields kind of was doing the little voiceover, but that's now been changed. And there's like some type of um, British, like she doesn't even sound American or Jamaican either. Like her voice, is a, it just doesn't sound, doesn't sound good. Like the commercial, I mean, like I said, congratulate for um, you doing your first video, but... I'm sorry, your first commercial or whatever it was. It could have been a video. It that's what it looks like. It looks like a, a beginning of a movie trailer. It looks like there's more. There was more like it was like a movie trailer or like a a music video, like the very first part when it first starts. That's what it looked like. And it looked like something that is trying to captivate somebody's attention and make them want to buy these sunglasses. So and it makes me question if that was like, who's who do you blame for that? Do you blame Kim Fields, who obviously had a a lack of experience with commercials, or do you just blame Cynthia because she didn't you know she did make the final decision? She did not listen to Kenya's idea. Kenya, Kenya, she's like annoying as heck. She is, but at the end of the day, like Kenya, she probably had something creative, especially. When it, she's um, competitive, so she kind of she probably had something that was way better than Kim's idea. Just because she's competitive and she doesn't want people to to give any more reason to like talk about her. So I'm, I'm sure that can you had a better concept because or like can you probably get it up? Could it a lot better? Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, she she you did she did her video commercial trailer whatever it was, and I don't like it, and I just. I just don't like it. I just don't. I'm very disappointed. But, hey, hopefully, uh, I wish you the best of luck, Cynthia. I hope you make a lot of money on this commercial. But, 
I just thought it was going to be more, especially you leaving America and going to another whole country and flying everybody in there, spending money flying people there, when you should have just stayed in the United States and the money that you spent sending people and flying them, you should just put that on your commercial. I'm out.